we present Casper, learning canonical spatiotemporal point cloud representations. In this work, we aim to learn spatiotemporal representations of object shape from 4D point clouds. Given a partial and irregularly sampled point cloud sequence, we want to aggregate information over time to reconstruct object shape, as well as encode the input to enable sampling the sequence at any desired spatiotemporal resolution. Our method, Casper, achieves this by first canonicalizing the point cloud sequence and then building a continuous representation on top of this canonical space. The goal of canonicalization is to factor out extrinsic object properties like pose while aggregating intrinsic shape over time. By mapping each input point to a canonical space, Casper operates directly on world space sequences, allows shape aggregation through a simple union, and enables learning generalizable representations. We propose a new, PointNet-based architecture to canonicalize input points and extract a latent embedding of the sequence. We now have each observed step in the canonical space, but we're interested in continuously modeling the spatiotemporal input. In other words, we want a representation even for unobserved time steps at arbitrary temporal resolutions. To achieve this, Casper uses a neural ordinary differential equation in the latent space. Neural ODE trajectories compactly encode the change in object shape over time and can be solved up to any desired time step. Given the latent representation of the object from the ODE, we want to continuously sample the underlying partial object surface. To do this, Casper learns to map 3D Gaussian noise onto the object surface. This continuous normalizing flow supports arbitrary spatial density and captures the natural point distribution observed in the training data. Overall, Casper operates on partial world space point clouds through canonicalization and enables continuous reconstruction by learned flows in both space and time. Please see the paper for more details. We first show results on data containing dynamic rigid objects such as cars, chairs, and airplanes. Given the partial point cloud sequence on the left, Casper canonicalizes input points to enable partial reconstruction by aggregating overall frames, as shown on the far right. The spatiotemporal representation allows interpolation of sparse inputs. Though a small number of time steps and points are given here, Casper accurately densifies in space and time by sampling from the predicted distribution shown on the right. Here we show additional results for rigid object motion. For each sequence, the ground truth and predicted canonicalization is shown, along with the interpolation from Casper. In these examples, we see how the Gaussian distribution is mapped to the object surface by the normalizing flow. Casper can also be successfully trained on other object categories like chairs and airplanes. Next, we evaluate on a dataset containing cars undergoing non rigid deformation. Casper accurately interpolates these motions and naturally maintains temporal correspondences. It can also be trained to canonicalize for deformation, which gives the true underlying shape of the car, as shown on the right. The architecture encourages disentanglement between shape and motion of an object. In these non rigid examples, Shape and motion features from different sequences are combined to produce a novel outcome. For rigid data, the motion feature captures occlusion information. Casper can be used for other applications like camera pose estimation, correspondence estimation, and propagation of labels across time and objects. Please see the paper for more examples. Though results are promising, the interpolation quality of our method is limited by the normalizing flow, which may fail to capture fine-grained details. Canonicalization is also susceptible to ambiguities from partial observations and object symmetries. 
Thank you for watching.